Um, to those people, I would say reach out. And if you reach out and you don't get the response you want, try again. And yes, that takes courage. And that takes a lot of, of, of change within your own heart. When you're looking towards suicide as an option, to go a different direction is difficult. But we know that suicide is a permanent solution. And so I guess to them I say, what have you got to lose? There is people. I mean, yes, family sometimes is hard to reach out to them. Absolutely. Friends yes. sometimes maybe is a problem. Mm -hmm. And that could be the, the, some of the triggers. You bet. And but there is other people that is neutral parties. Absolutely, and sometimes talking to a complete stranger is much easier because we feel that I don't want to burden my loved ones or they've got their own problems or I don't want to add to their stress. And so there's that, it, it's definitely not an indication of lack of support or lack of love or anything like that, but there's something about being a parent that sometimes, um, I guess prohibits our, our young people from talking to parents. So it might be a friend's parent that you reach, reach out to. It might be an organization such as ours, whether that's calling us, whether that's walking in, whether that's accessing our online support, Sweet. which is uh, support at suicidehelp.ca. Um, people can email us anonymously. Um, we will take steps to make sure they're safe and, and we're happy to share our confidentiality policy and things like that. Um, we do have in-house counseling as well. So there's lots of avenues, crisis lines, um, websites where the, you know very much uh, support and help and chat rooms and that kind of thing and, and having said that with the websites there's a lot of unpleasant stuff online as well so you do have to search carefully but at the same time it, it's out there and I think it's that reaching out not necessarily those who are in pain reaching out but those of us who are available to help reaching out as well so it's got to go both ways and and again I've often said you'll never regret being kind so it's not about pointing fingers or blaming or any of those types of things it's much more saying okay what can I do as an individual as part of this greater community and who can I show my support to and how can I reach out and, and show that step forward that mm -hmm. from there that's just as well as coming to here yes I mean, isn't that the case where, you know, there are ears here to hear? To, to make absolutely. That it doesn't necessarily have to be a professional. I mean, sometimes that is warranted, absolutely. But at the same time, just sharing your problem can be an immense relief. And that can start the ball rolling into positive choices and, and coping strategies and resiliency and all of those things that we want to see, not just in our young people, but in our community.